I'm here with Network 10's uh, Carrie Bickmore and I'm really pleased to give Carrie her keys to her brand new Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV. Very excited to hand the keys over. So Carrie, here are your keys to your Thank new you car. Thank you very much. Let's go Great. and have a drive. It's so quiet. Every time you start it, you think you haven't started it. <laughs> with the one touch start system, it's certainly one of those uh, scenarios where you get in the car, push the start button, I don't think I've actually started yeah. that yet. Yeah. Is, is the car running? Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's super quiet. It's kind of the wow moment that we we see with people in the car. They just get in and go, wow, how quiet is this car? It's... I'm excited to be driving a hybrid, you know. I've, I've heard about them but never driven one myself. And um, I love SUVs and I think it's, it's great to finally have a, a, a hybrid SUV. People have said I'm aggressive driver before and by aggressive I'm not <laughs> I don't break the law but I mean business when I get in the car I need to get somewhere and I'm not mucking around so I'm not driving in the slow lane so I need a car that sort of can keep up with me and it, it's quick to start and quick to stop and you know quick to accelerate in Melbourne it's it's often tricky too because parks are small so you need a car that can can get in there nicely. We're finding is pe people that uh, have those or drive in those urban environments very much like yourself you know doing those short trips 10, to 15, and work, to yeah. and from work, back and forth from home, very little fuel is used. It's, so it's plugging in. You a couple in. of weeks without, without, without Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, if you were, if you could potentially, you know, you, you drive to work, plugging at home or you're plugging yep. in at work and you and, and keep charging up and you're continuing the EV driving in the urban environment, you won't use any fuel. But you generally only use fuel in the car if you're driving your, your long distance. Depends what time of day you catch me as to what I'm doing in the car. If it's in the morning, the music's usually down, uh, the radio's on and I've got my son chatting to me in the back and I'm trying to organise the day and making quick calls, you know, via the Bluetooth. And at the end of the day, I like to put the music up, just wind down and sort of go into my own space and, and, and chill out. Well, most of my weekends are filled up with sort of kids sports and birthday parties. But when you have that odd weekend where I don't have those things on, it's great to be able to get away, to be able to go down the coast or just go visit some friends for the day. Unfortunately, I've never Ever had a car before that's had the ability to go off-road and that's what I'm most excited about this one that I can sort of take it you know onto the beach and do those sorts of things because I love that I'm a very outdoorsy person. And in that sense that you, you predominantly you would use the battery range in the car if you left home you get that 40 to 50 kilometers of EV yep. driving when you leave home and then the, the system will continue to operate with the engine starting and stopping charging the battery up switching off again back into EV mode so the, the system will continually work in that situation you will use some fuel but certainly much more efficient uh, in terms of being able to tap into that EV driving on yeah. those drives as well so if you were to put your foot down and want to overtake yep. the engine will start give you that extra power we still use the electric motors but the engine's running a generator but I don't switch it into that you don't do that itself. the car will do it all itself you yeah. just put drive the car you just push the accelerator the car will take care of knowing whether you need the extra power the engine will switch on and off. So talk to me about, th this bit confuses me, the charge save bit. So you've got a charge and save mode here. The charge generally is for when you're not plugging in, you can stop and park the car and charge the vehicle up. And that'll charge the drive battery in the car to about 80% capacity in 40 right. minutes. It's not the most efficient way though to, to do that because right. you're, you're using uh, fuel to obviously generate electricity. Yep. So the most efficient uh, way to use the car is to plug it in. I can charge it at home. We can get anywhere up to 600, 650 kilometres out of that avid tank and EV driving. So you're never going to be stuck anywhere. No, no, that, absolutely yeah. not. It's like any, any car. You know, I get the question, you know, what happens if I run out of fuel? Well, it's yeah. like any car. If you run out of fuel, the car stops. But uh, anytime you've got fuel in the car, you can continue to keep driving. So a full charge on a 12 kilowatt hour battery is about $3.60. Yeah. So if you're completely using the battery power yeah. during a full drive, it's about $3, $3.60 a day, but with your driving, if you're charging every second day, yeah, great. Uh, you could be as little as a $15 a week uh, cost for charging and, and using the car the way you like to use the car. For me to know that you know I can charge the car overnight, and I do such short trips to and from work, I don't live that far from work, so to know that I could probably run the car mostly on battery power most of the time will be great and I think I'm going to see huge savings in terms of fuel and, and I think it's going to change my lifestyle and I've already got friends that are sort of eyeing, eyeing it off going oh well, watch how you go with it and then we might get, get ourselves one so hopefully I can set the trend here and, and get you know some friends on board as well. So.